Setting the shadow options. We can set shadows of our objects. And when objects have shadows, they look more realistic. If they don't have shadows, it looks like it's computer generated. So if we're up in the view tab, we come over here to shadows. By default, we don't have any shadows. If I turn on the ground shadows, you see that it's like I'm having a light shine and the shadow is, is, is on the ground here. So I'll turn that off. I can also have object shadows. You can see the light shining here from the upper right and the, sh the object itself is creating shadows in the background here. So you see these shadows made from the object itself. When I go to ambient shadows, this is the reflected light. Ambient light is the reflected light in the room. And so you see that there's more, there's shadows here underneath and there's shadows here in the back side. So you get a little bit, you see when I turn it off and I turn it on, I get shadows then in the hole, etc. So ambient lighting is all the shadows in the room. And of course, I could mix and match. I could say I want ground and ambient, or I could say I just want all shadows, and it turns everything on. So that's the most realistic look would be um, all the shadows. But frankly, some people don't like the ground shadows. They, they kind of like this particular look uh, of an object looks the most realistic to them um, in, in a mechanical design environment. So uh, we can come up to the shadows. And by default, all shadows are turned off.